you guys on relevant kept me up all night talking about out of sign you being boring and all those things good morning talking low because my baby's asleep uh, i just woke up trying to get my black two sugars now look uh damn i left the but listen <laughs> there's a reason for this all right you guys saw the beijing on the hairline that is no secret all right, I ain't trying to rub out my Beijing plus. I'm over 40, okay? I'm The, the baby hairs are fragile than a mother, <laughs> okay? So I'll sleep on my head, you know, this help slide the, the pressure. <laughs> Listen, Adesanya being born. Look, man, I, I enjoyed Adesanya's performance last night. I think Adesanya showed all the things that makes him an all-time great his speed, the ability to create distance, um, the variety of attacks, attacks to stopping the takedowns, his Muay Thai, his control off the octagon. I mean, it's just masterclass to me, okay? Um, it's one of you guys called him the Devin Haney of, <laughs> of UFC, <laughs> okay? I understand that, but still, even Devin Haney gave a masterclass to Cambosis' last fight. I, I, I want to say, I don't know what's up with no one giving any other responsibility to the other guy that's in the octagon or in the ring, to the opponent. Everyone looks at the champion or the more popular guy or the guy who's dominant as if they should just throw themselves um, and just put themselves at risk, just throw themselves in harm's way just to entertain you. I think it's also the responsibility of the opponent to not only entertain, make a fight out of it, but give himself the highest chance to win. If you're getting your ass whipped for five uh, uh, MMA rounds, um, you have to make some sort of adjustment. I mean, rush him, do something. I mean, even if that means getting knocked out, and, and the thing is, getting knocked out would be spectacular. It'd be exciting. If Adesanya would have knocked out Kananir, then we would have said that the fight was exciting last night. But... Neither one of them, Kananir didn't want to get knocked out. So to put everything on Adesanya, like Adesanya is the one that's boring, Kananir was being extremely careful. You feel what I'm saying? I think Kananir had a great game plan. I, I, I think Adesanya was just better. The night was fun. A lot of things happened that was the last thing I expected or a lot of, you know, results that I wasn't really into. Uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley, finger poke, right? No contest. I wanted to see. I wanted to see if Sugar Sean O'Malley can beat somebody of that caliber in the fashion that he's been beating everybody else. And that and Munoz was driving those leg kicks home. It looked like Sugar Sean O'Malley was starting to turn it up before the eye poke. Um, the one-sided Volkanovski ass whipping of Max Holloway shocked the hell out of me. Okay, so a lot of things happened, but what happened was Piera uh, knocking out Strickland the way he did. Oh my God! Did you guys see my reaction? Of his oh, left hook just knocked out Strickland. Oh, Strickland knocked out nasty. Strickland is knocked out nasty. It was a oh shit. Oh, hit baby leg. Hit that that, no, that leg. He was walking like a baby ostrich. That dude was walking like he had he had four fingers of tequila <laughs> in in a half a cup <laughs> of. Of, 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 Red Bull. <laughs> this. Let me get my two sugars. Uh, why don't I just bring the cup closer to the dang? There it is. So look. Um. Now Adesanya, he called out uh, Piera like a gladiator. That was great to do. So no silk pajamas, just a silk bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, Adesanya called him out. That showed a lot of, that shows that championship heart, championship uh, spirit. We all know that Piera knocked out um, Adesanya uh, in, in, in kickboxing. I want to say this, though, before I go. Before I go, I want to say this. Though Piera knocked out Adesanya, let's not get it twisted. Adesanya was whipping his ass. That left hook just caught him. Adesanya was whipping Piera's ass, but I'm still interested because Piera looked great against Strickland. He looked calm. 
Um, he was setting things up. I really want to see how that fight would look, Adesanya versus Pierre. I think that would be a fantastic fight either way. And there's a lot of hype behind Pierre knocking out Adesanya in kickboxing and then his knockout um, last night. I know there's a lot of hype behind it. But if you guys look at that fight that um, in kickboxing, Adesanya was whipping him. He slipped for a minute, and that's what make it a good fight. Pierre can take advantage of those mistakes from Adesanya that many other fighters can't. All right, and that's the black two sugars. We all know Stranger Things coming back. Never forget Barb, right? I can't start to wake up. I got a barbecue. You guys kept me up. I got a cue. Happy 4th of July, by the way. I got a lot of shit to do. I'm out.